Inside, a gas Ooh. generator ignites, creating a blast of hot gas that turns the water at the bottom. Okay, looks like a Trident 2 sub launch ballistic missile. Into steam, pushing the nuke out of the launch tube. Nukes plural. This thing could be loaded with multiple warheads. Now here, this gas generator creates high pressure steam for ejection. It's a rapid pressure event. Kind of like steam jet air ejectors in the main condenser of a nuclear power plant. It rockets upward, breaking through the ocean surface. And that's all just momentum from that pressure from about 100 feet or so underwater. In just seconds, once it's clear it's of the water, the missile's first stage engines ignite propelling the missile high into the upper atmosphere. This happens a fraction of a second after breach. Then it detaches, and the second stage engine fires, sending it even farther and faster. In some designs, this ignites almost immediately, and total burnout velocity is around 7 kilometers a second. Finally, the third stage carries the warheads okay, into space. Multiple warheads. There, they separate and begin falling back to Earth, each locked in on its own target. They have independent targets, and total flight times 20 to 25 minutes for intercontinental ranges. Though it's more of a parabolic trajectory rather than this perpendicular line drive you see in this video.